here are seven important settings you should do right now in your YouTube dashboard to help YouTube start recommending your videos. So if you are a small YouTuber, you make videos, but then they're not getting attention, you need to fix these seven settings right now in your dashboard. So in this video, I'm going to show you seven of these important settings you have to do right now. You can do this with your smartphone or with your computer. I will show you exactly what they are and how to get them done. When it comes to growing a YouTube channel and getting monetized really fast, one of the most important things is your settings and your optimization. When you do them right, algorithm starts recommending your video. But if you fail to set them right, you will struggle so much to get the attention you desire. And that's exactly why you need to watch this video to the end. The first setting is keyword optimization. And this is where you feed YouTube algorithm with all the important keywords in your topic, in your niche. This will enable YouTube to understand who your videos are for and then be able to recommend those videos to them once you upload them. Every channel you see out there that's getting attention, they all have these keywords in their channel. A lot of people will not tell you, but I will tell you because I want you to grow your channel really fast. Now, let's head over to the dashboard so I'll show you exactly how it is done. So, go on Google Chrome and type studio.youtube.com. It will open to this. Once you get here, select this button that says continue to studio. Here we are on my demo channel. The first important settings you want to do right now in your dashboard is to populate your channel with relevant keywords. This is you feeding the algorithm with all the important keywords, all relevant keywords for your niche these are words that your own audience uses when they are looking for videos that are related to what you do it is important you do this so the algorithm understands the kind of things you need and be able to recommend your video to the people who are using these same keywords so to do that all you need is scroll down to the bottom and then you see this settings button touch it this is exactly where you are going to do keyword optimization and then you go on to add those keywords after typing a word click on this button so this is a very important secret to help your videos rank so you must do it if you want to get your videos recommended the second setting is channel branding and optimization a lot of people do not know about this if you don't brand your channel you will lose chances of getting recommended or even appealing to your target so audience this branding covers profile picture channel banner channel handle description so to do that you need to come over here and click on this magic wand the first one is banner if it looks so good people are going to subscribe to your channel immediately so go on canva and design it when you are done designing it come over here and click on change and then it's going to allow you to select the banner you have here the next one is your profile picture if you are running a personal brand where you show your face and talk to us this picture must be your personal picture and it should be close enough for us to see your face. The next one is the name of your YouTube channel. I will advise you name your channel something that is easy to, for people to pronounce. The next one is your handle. Your handle is your unique name. So many other people can have your same channel name with you, but nobody will have a handle name with you. Normally, this handle is generated from your name, but if you don't like the one they gave you, you can always change it. So to change it, you just need to touch it and then go on and type the handle name you prefer. Now, the next setting is your channel description. This is very, very important. This is actually another place to feed the algorithm with the right keywords that your audience uses when they're looking for videos on what you do. Now, the third setting, which is very important, is contact info and external links. If your channel does not have this, you're missing out a lot. Other important ones are external links. So this is an opportunity for you to connect your other social media account your website, your Instagram, your Facebook, and any other place you want to channel your audience to. If you look at mine, you're going to see I have about five of them here. A lot of successful YouTubers have their Instagram account. One of the reasons why you need this is because YouTube does not have a DM. So when somebody wants to send you an important message, they can't drop it in the comment section. And the only way to do that is to connect with you on other platforms where they can send you a private message. To do that, you need to come over here and click on this magic wand. It opens, you need to scroll down to the bottom of this screen. You see where it says links in this first box you put the name of the platform the second box is where you now type the link so you're going to copy the instagram link and come over here and paste it then if you want to add more you click on add links 
And here comes one of the most important of the contact information, which is your email address. So this is a place where you are going to supply your email address. This is very important because if brands want to have a deal with you, they want to pay you for advert, this is the email they are going to use to reach you. Here is where you are going to play smart. You should not add the email address you use in creating your YouTube channel here, please. Because scammers can actually get this email address and it is super easy to hack your account. So I need you to create another email address and then put it here so people can use it to reach you easily. Fourth important settings you need to do right now to get YouTube to start recommending your videos is to choose your audience. This is you telling YouTube who this video is for so they know exactly who to show the videos to. To do these settings on your dashboard, you need to come down to this place and then once it opens, you are going to go on and click on channel. Go on and click on advanced settings. Okay, so you need to scroll this. It says... Who is this video meant for? Are your videos meant for kids or adults? If you're making normal videos on this platform that is meant for people to learn and do something, please select the video is not meant for kids. The only time you're going to select that the video is meant for kids is if you're making children related videos. Videos like cartoon videos and all of that. Why is this important? If you choose that your videos are meant for kids, that means your videos are suitable for children to watch. The disadvantage is that when your channel is monetized, there's a limit to the kind of advert YouTube will place on your videos because they don't want children to see certain kind of adverts. So they restrict the kind of advert they place. As a matter of fact, advertisers that pay real amount of money for advert will not want to place their advert on videos that are meant for kids because they understand that children don't have purchasing power when they want to advertise they place their advert on videos that are meant for adults with this knowledge you need to go on and select the button that works for you for me i go for the setting that said no set this channel as not meant for kids i click on close the fifth setting you want to do right now is about money. You want to select the currency you want YouTube to start paying you in when you are eligible for monetization. Click on this button here. You see where it says default unit. You need to go on now and select the currency you want. My own is in dollars, USD, but you can go for any currency of your choice. Just touch this button here and then all the currencies out there will be displayed. So you need to go on and select the currency of your choice. If you are in Nigeria, I will advise you to never go for Naira. You have to go for dollar, pounds and euro. If you go for Naira account, when you get monetized, YouTube will be sending the money to you in dollars. Then your bank will collect the money and give it to you in Naira. And the exchange rate at which bank will pay you is so low that you will always lose money every single month. Don't worry about how to get the account number. You can create current account which is also called domiciliary account. With domiciliary account, you have access to Naira, dollar, pounds and euro. So you can use it. Once you get monetized, it is this dollar or pounds or euro account that you're going to send to YouTube. You walk into your bank and receive your payment in that currency. Once you're done selecting the currency, you click on close. The sixth important settings you need to do right now is subscriber watermark that appears on people's video once you watch it. You must have seen stuff like this on other people's video. You want to set it. It makes it easy for people to subscribe to your channel. To do it, you need to scroll down to the bottom of this page. You are going to see it here already. It says video watermark. The watermark will appear on your video in the right corner of the video player. Go on and select the display time. When do you want it to start showing? Is it at the end of the video or maybe 5 seconds after it, the video started? Or you want it to show an entire video from the end? Just go on and select the one you want. For me, I selected custom start times and you click on change to apply it. And the final settings we are going to do today is advanced settings. This is actually where you're going to enable all the important features on your channel to start working in your favor. So to do that, you need to scroll down again to this button and click on this settings button. And once it opens, you are going to click on feature eligibility. And this is where you are going to enable all the settings that are important to you. Standard features enabled, 
intermediate features enabled and you have advanced features to enable this one you need to touch it so advanced features allow you a couple of things appealing content id claims create more live streams daily upload more videos daily create more shots daily and a whole lot of other things to to activate this you need to click on assess feature okay? and it's going to require a verification so what you need to do is to select how you want this verification to be done if you want video verification select the first one and assess features and then it's going to say how do you want this verification to be done use video verification use your valid id so either one you select they're going to first send an email to your account and there you follow the prompt and complete the process please give this video a thumbs up